Let's get off this stage before something else bad happens to you. you. Poor dog. Okay, come here, come here, Spot. Come here. Come here. Come here. All right, now that we're done with the animal cruelty portion of our show, the next piece is called Grand Serenade for an Awful Lot of Winds and Percussion. This piece was written by a rather infamous composer named PDQ Bach. Now, some composers have found their inspiration in the works of their forebearers, and they have uh, used those inspirations to create their musical genius and make them cleverly and artistically reinvented. And then you have some composers who simply copy out somebody else's work and then go for a beer. Our next composer represents the latter group. P.D.Q. Bach, the last and least of J.S. Bach's 17 children, spent his whole life flirting with infamy. Were it not for the groundbreaking work of musicologist Professor Peter Schickley, the few fragments of P.D.Q. Bach's ignoble output might have been consigned to the outhouse of musical footnotes. Fortunately for custodial staff everywhere, Schickley dredged many of these putrid works from the cesspool of ignominy, including the one you are about to hear. Now, due to issues of plagiarism, we are not permitted to perform the whole work I understand it's something about no more than 16 defined acts of plagiarism per movement, or something like that. But I think one movement of this composer will be sufficient for you to see the vast, complex, and inventive musical motives and ideas that he managed to plagiarize. Ladies and gentlemen, grand serenade for an awful lot of winds and percussion, movement two, simply grand minuet, by P.D.Q. Bach, edited by Professor Peter Schickley. <laughs> 